Morning, guys. Happy Black Friday. Me and Cade are out here. We're going to put the addition to the building. You can see, uh, if you guys remember last year, some of the videos I posted showed me clearing this spot out, digging holes, and pouring these piers. I have five piers poured. I need a total of eight. So I've got three piers left to pour here. Before I do all that, I'm going to have to relay out my building, square everything up, put new string lines on, check my batter boards, make sure they're all still square and everything. I was actually going to start laying that out right now, but I got to looking and I definitely have some more trees that I want to take out before I put my building up. And so I figured I may as well go ahead and take them out now. Otherwise, I'll have to take my string line down and then take them out. And, uh, so I'm just going to take them all out. So when it's, once I put the string line up, I won't take it down until I get my posts up and all that good stuff. That's the plan. We are going to actually take this group of trees here out all the way to there. I got a little dog pen over there all the way to that. Now those there can come out anytime because they're all leaning this way away from the building. I don't have to worry about them. So I can cut them anytime. I'm not going to spend my time right now doing that. This tree right here needs to come out, but these limbs sticking out here can still get into the building and the posts and stuff. So I'm going to take it out before I put the building up. This big cherry tree here, I'm actually not worried about it. It's, it's leaning hard away from the building. So I'm not really concerned about that. I'm not going to spend my time on that right now. But I'm going to take this tree out for sure. There's two other little trees right there. While I'm here, I may go ahead and cut them. Um, got some little trees right in here I'm going to take out. If you were to draw a line right about right in over here, all these trees are coming out. And I say all of them. There might be some. If there's a couple nicer ones down that way, I may leave. But that's that there. a lot of that there is going to actually be drive or parking lot or whatever you want to call it. To have space to actually get into the building and come around it here and i'm also going to try to get dad's big pole saw and, I, and this oak tree i'm not taking it out because it's actually a good distance away and odds are if it did fall it would fall away from my building hopefully depending on if we have a freak storm or something but there are two really big tr limbs hanging out this way this lower one being the biggest and i'd like to get it out so i may see if i can take that out with dad's pole saw my pole saw is definitely not big enough to do it, uh, but it's actually leaning actually right over the corner of where my addition will be. I've got a decent amount of work here to do. Um, so we're gonna start with that tree down there and then I might cut some stuff here while I'm working on it and everything. Uh, some of this stuff doesn't have to be done right now because it's not even gonna fall on the building whenever I cut it. Some of it has to be done before I put the building up. So I'm concentrating on that right now. But so let's go take this tree out over here. It's not a big tree. It's probably what 18 inches in diameter, maybe, if that, maybe 16. Uh, we're on the Echo CS 600P today. Let's get to it. Well, I turned around it as well as I cut this one limb off because as it was going to fall, it's probably going to get into my batter boards over here. So I cut it and kind of swung it away from the batter boards. You can see right over here. I did go ahead and cut my, make my face cut. Went a little deeper than normal because of the weird shape of this tree. It's it comes out almost to a point on this side and I wanted to get back far enough to have a wide enough hinge to control it a little bit because I am gonna kind of be forcing this a way that it doesn't really naturally want to go necessarily and uh, I've made my face cut but I have not started my back cut so I am good once you start your back cut I mean there's probably instances where it's still safe to go in front of it but once I start my get back cut I don't me and I or no anyone else goes to the front of the tree, to the fall path. So you see Cade playing out here. I'm gonna have him come back over here. He can play back in here, back behind us. And uh, we'll fall it. See, it really wants to go 
really kind of at an angle here just to the right of that last pier and I'm wanting it to go down the line here. Not perfectly down the line because there's some limbs hanging out here. I want it to kind of miss those, but it'll be kind of at an angle, but still on this side of all those piers. So, all right, let's get all our stuff over here and get our wedges ready and then we'll start cutting. <laughs> I didn't even need a wedge, but I, I like to put a wedge in there just to be safe. All right, we're ready to cut this tree up. All right, guys, that's all she wrote. We're 100% bucked up. Got the limbs cut short enough, small enough pieces to pile up nicely to burn. And I'll probably actually just pile them up right here where we're at here. Uh, of course, I'll take all this wood up. I'll split what needs to be split. But everything is bucked and Cade is pooped. Look at him. We're gonna go in and get a nap and something to eat. All right, guys, this can be it for this video. Uh, we haven't done a whole lot. I cut a little bit of firewood earlier when we came back here. We were actually gonna set up this, our string lines, lay out the building again so I get started on it. But I thought, no, I wanna get some of these trees cleared out first so I don't have to redo things. This is the official start of the building the second time. <laughs> this time we're actually gonna get it done though. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, it's a great time to stop and really think about what you're thankful for. We have so much to be thankful for every day of the year, but I know a lot of times we get caught up in the negative stuff, this bad stuff that happens to us. We forget to see the forest for the trees that are in the way. So just be thankful, guys. If you got family, uh, you've got friends, um, you got a heavenly father um, that loves you, you've got people out there that loves you, I care about you. I really appreciate you guys watching. Everybody be safe on this Black Friday and this weekend. Um, I'll be I'll be catching up with you later, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this building done so next year we can be way more efficient with our hay production and we can get some more equipment inside. It'll just really help things out a lot having more space here where I actually make the, most of the hay. So thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.